My name is Jasper. I live in a small house with my mom. My dad left when I was three, and my mom refuses to explain why. Also, I'm highly bullied at school because I can't speak. Who knows? Maybe today, things will be different. I'm hoping so. Honey, did you pick out your fabric for today? Great, now bring my sewing kit here so we can sew in your smile for today. I didn't tell you why I can't speak, did I? Well, every single day, my mom sews a smile into my face. She thinks that I'm depressed, so she says that this will help me, but it doesn't. It just makes the kids pick on me even more. But that's okay, because I can't defend myself anyway. But even if I can't defend myself, I do have a friend, one friend. Her name's Alicia. We've been friends since we were babies, and she knows about the whole smile thing. Hurry up and eat something, or you'll be late, okay? Love you too. I hope you have a good day at school, Jasper. I had to teach my friend Alicia sign language. It was worth it because now she understands what I'm saying, but nobody else does. Um, excuse me? Huh? Can you move for a second? My friend needs to get to her locker. Who's your friend? <laughs> her? She can't even talk. That's really rude, but can we just get through? <laughs> Only this once. Come on guys, let's go. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jasper, but here you go. Oh, you're welcome. Alicia's like the only person who will hang out with me, no matter the occasion. She even comes over to my house. She's really nice. But when the bullying gets a little too severe, sometimes she's not always there. Where are my glasses? I can't see. Sometimes, people would stand in circles around me and chant, Voodoo doll, you're a voodoo doll. You're not a student. And it gets annoying after a while. But I guess I can deal with it. For now. Jasper, that was kind of rude of them. Do you want me to call your mom and tell her to come pick you up? No? Okay, I won't but let me know when you want me to, okay? Well, you know what that means. I gotta go, but I'll see you later, okay? Bye! Hey, you. I've got more people coming, so just be aware of that. <laughs> oh no you don't. <laughs> Come on guys, we need to go before you get in trouble. <laughs>
Oh, there you are. Are you okay? Do you want me to call your mom? Okay. Um, yeah, Jasper would like to come home. I think she had a bad day, so can you come pick her up? Alright, you'll see her soon. Bye. Here you go, Jasper. She's on her way. Aw, you're welcome. What happened today? I'm really sorry you had a bad day, but when you're done, come down and get dinner. It's almost ready. I don't know why you just didn't stay the whole day. I mean, you only had five minutes left. Well, whenever you're ready, just come down to dinner. You know what? I've got a sewn in smile. I'm basically a psychopath. So I'm gonna do what every psychopath does. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to give them a taste of their own medicine. Hey, I'm right here, silly. Oh, you want to be left alone today? Are you sure? I think it's kind of unsafe. Okay then, see you later. Hey, there you are. I want to talk to you about something. Whoa, what the hell are you doing? Yo, what the frick? Hey! Soon, everyone is like me. Everyone had a smile. So they have no choice but to believe themselves now. <laughs> little short film that I made. Um, this is also in no way trying to make fun of people who can't speak. It's just my own original idea about this girl who had her mouth sewn shut so she can't speak. It's just my original idea. This is in no way trying to make fun of people that cannot speak. So just keep that in mind. I should have had this at the beginning, but this is editor's notes, so it's at the end. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit that like, subscribe to join the wolf pack, and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. Peace.